Hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial on how to make an animated hand-drawn effect. It's pretty simple to make and I'm going to be doing something similar to what you're seeing on screen and a few variations of it, but uh, let's get started. So first thing we've done is set up a composition with a piece of paper as a background. I've just got this off Google. It's just the same all the way through, nothing, nothing interesting. Um, so let's get to the interesting bit. First go to Layer, click New, Solid. And I'm going to call this outline. We'll find out why shortly. Uh, there we go. Now on this, I'm going to draw a circle. This would be whatever shape you're drawing. It's a triangle or a rocket or whatever. I'm going to just quickly hold down Command and Shift, Control if you're on the PC, and that's going to lock this circle into place, making it a perfect circle. I'm going to duplicate that by clicking Command D, Control D on the PC once again. Um, and I'm going to just rename this by pressing enter and I'm going to call it solid. There we go. I'm going to just turn that off for now because we don't need to see it. Because we're going to work on the outline first. And for that we're going to type in stroke to our effects. And it's in generate. I'm just going to drag that over. Now <laughs> you can't really see what, what on earth happened there. Um, that's because uh, it's actually the outline. You can see very, very slightly it's white. Let's just uh, go ahead and adjust this bit here, this paint style to on transparent. Now you can see a bit better, but we're actually gonna want it black for this. So let's go ahead and do that. Next up we want to adjust the brush size. I'm gonna go with about 10. Ooh, that's a bit thick. Let's go down to six, there we go. That's a bit better, yeah. So that's our outline, done. Um, sort of, nearly done. Uh, we're gonna go back to that a little later on, but we're gonna just go ahead over to the solid. Now for the solid, we want an effect called scribble. Let's go ahead and drag that across. And there's quite a bit of adjusting on this one. Um, as you can see, we've sort of got a neat looking version of what we had already, but there's still some bits to go. And it's all, all hidden away in the stroke options. Uh, Let's select our colour first. This is just whatever colour you want your thing. I'm going to go with red. Red's a good colour, nice and bright. And I'm going to just take this up to about seven. Can't see a thing. Let's fix that. Let's, let's adjust the curviness. And the curviness variation. There we go. We're starting to get gaps in it now. You'll, you'll see what's going to happen. A spacing, a drag, curviness again. Let's just pop that up there. And it's sort of these first few that we use, spacing variation as well. Um, avoid path overlap and path overlap variation. You know, you can use it if that's the effect you want, but uh, for this, I'm gonna just set them to zero and ignore them. Sort of got what we want already. Very easy effect, I, I did say. But we're gonna go back to the outline. Uh, and if you can't see the modes, it's just that button down there. We're gonna need to click on dancing dissolve now what that's done if you watch the outline it sort of wiggles a bit now and uh, there's the effect moving which is the first time we've seen that um, yeah sort of done sort of done uh, a few more adjustments to it and to do that we need to select both by holding down shift and clicking on both the outline and the solid and I'm gonna click command shift and C control shift C if you're on a PC and I'm gonna rename this shape. And we wanna make sure the move all attributes is selected. And we wanna click okay. Then I'm gonna go back to the mode uh, on the shape and I'm gonna click multiply. There it is. And that sort of blends it into the paper a bit. It lets the darker areas of the paper sort of blend through and look like it's there. Now, as far as movement, I've just uh, clicked on it little stopwatch there for the position. It's up to you what you do with it. I, I sort of made them bounce in the previous video that you saw at the beginning. Um, it sort of worked for what I was doing at the time. That video is available on my channel if you want to watch it. But um, that is the effect, that's that. There are some variations you could do with this. I'm gonna show you how to make text into it now as well. As you can see, I've typed out Goatman Arts here using the text tool. And similar to the last one, we're gonna need a mask of this. Now last time we just sort of drew out one, but that would be extremely hard to go around each letter. So what we're gonna do is just right click on your text and we're gonna click create mask from text, which is this one here. 
and as you can see it's created a new layer so we can get rid of the last one um, and there we go one mask it's got each letter individually uh, going down the list there perfect exactly what we need so this is where it's quite similar to the last uh, effect that we did we're going to duplicate I'm going to just quickly rename these um, and I'm going through this a little bit faster this time because you've already seen it once you don't need to see it again until the adjustments that need to be done so let's go ahead and just grab scribble since it's here and drop down the solid and I'm going to go ahead and type in stroke once again and I'm going to drop down to the outline layer like so now let's color it black and on transparent as you can see it only does the one letter this is where things change up a bit easy fix just tick this little box here all mask done <laughs> very easy um, and similar to last time you just want to adjust the brush size uh, like so I'm gonna go up a bit too thick it's always a stab in the dark what you can go with but I'm gonna go with 2.5 that looks nice now solid a little bit more complicated than just uh, ticking a box with all masks because uh, I'll tell you why in a second. Let's just colour it just so you can see what I'm on about a little bit easier. I'm going to go with green. Green's a good colour. don't know why I said it like that. Um, as you can see, inside the letters O, A, A and A, it's coloured those bits in as well, which we don't want because letters don't do that. Uh, and just go to Fill Type and click the right edges and that will get rid of that. Now, with this Fill Type, you can get some cool looking things so I mean play around with it by all means um, for example if I just go outside edges you get this sort of background colouring thing um, which we might play with in a second I was going to, about to go to go back to right edges there and stroke width same sort of stuff as I did before curviness uh, let's go down curviness variation spacing variation you know you, you get some similar to what we did before uh, a little bit messy. What I'm going to do though is go ahead and go back to solid quickly and turn that down. There we go. Just a few little alterations. So that's the text. I'm going to duplicate the solid and on the solid 2 I'm going to make this black and I'm going to go outside edges like I just showed you and you get that sort of even weirder look but you know it looks looks kind of cool um, play around with it there's, there's a few different things you can do with the text they're quite quite cool maybe turn that to that to dissolve quickly and I'm gonna need to do what I did before command shift C move all attributes I'm gonna rename this uh, GMA government arts and multiply once more similarities to the previous effect but little alterations to make it work um, I've put together a quick animation for you using the text and I've also dropped in some 3D cameras and sort of blurs and whatnot and I've used a lot more effects so enjoy that and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.